So I've been waiting for a while now to get this little black box to show up at my doorstep and it's finally here. I'm super excited to open it and the reason why I'm so excited is that in here is a device that's not only going to help me improve as a player but also revolutionize the way I teach my students. So let's not waste any time, let's open it. So what we have here is the hack motion wrist sensor that captures 3D biofeedback of the exact wrist positions throughout the whole motion. And all you have to do to calibrate it is to first put your arm out straight, boom, and then extend your wrist, boom, and you're now good to go. The whole process might take you at the most two minutes, and now you're getting instant 3D biofeedback for yourself or your students. So let's have a look at what type of movements you can track with a hack motion sensor. If you look at the screen right next to me here, you can see the avatar and how we match the movement of my wrist. That's super cool. So there are three movements that the hack motion sensor would track. The first one is it would track if the wrist is in flexion or extension. It will also track if the wrist is in radial deviation or unar deviation, so the wrist set. And it will also track the rotation of the wrist throughout the whole motion. So let's talk about how knowing your wrist positions can help you improve your golf swing. So if we start talking about the flexion and extension of the wrist, it's super important to understand that the flexion and extension of the wrist will directly determine the club face alignment. If your wrist is too much in flexion, the club face will be closed, okay? If the wrist is too much in extension, the club face will be open. So if you have a golfer, for example, that has the wrist too much in flexion at the top of the backswing, their club face will be very shut. And from here, that player is gonna tend to get into the ball with a shut club face and hit a lot of hooks and pulls. If you have a player that does the opposite, that has the wrist in too much flexion, sorry, too much extension, that club face is gonna be open and they're gonna tend to come into the ball with an open club face, causing them to hit a lot of push shots and a lot of sliced shots. So that's how flexion and extension can affect the flight of the golf ball. The next thing is the radial deviation and the unar deviation. What that is, is the amount of wrist set in the backswing. If you have a player, for example, that has too much wrist set, causing them to kind of over swing, you can quickly see that, that their radial deviation is way too much, okay? Then they need to feel like they set the wrist a little bit less, so they have less radial deviation to get the club on a better position. If you have the opposite, a player that doesn't set it enough, they won't be able to generate probably enough speed, and they, have a, they will have a very short backswing, so then they need more of that in the backswing, okay? All right, and then the last thing, is rotation. So rotation is actually extremely important because if you don't rotate enough in the downswing, you're gonna leave the club face open at impact, causing you to hit a lot of shots out to the right. Or if you have too much rotation in the downswing, the club face is gonna be closed and you're hitting too many shots to the left. So that's how knowing your wrist positions can help you improve your golf game. So there you have it people, that's the wrist sensor from Hack Motion. I'm super excited to start using it in my own game and with all my students. And stay tuned because I'm going to post a couple of lessons on here with me using this so you guys can learn even more about this awesome product that can help you improve your game.